Guys, we are back with another huge TWAB breakdown this week. They go over the first teasers for Season 21, also known as Season of the Deep. They go over huge changes to coming to Trials of Osiris next season, as well as updates as to obtaining old raid exotics. We're going to get into all of that and more in today's video. If you're going to enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, as a lot of you guys who watch my content haven't subscribed. So if you could do that, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's just dive right into today's video. So you might be able to see here but the first major thing is of course the first teaser for season of the deep this is the first art page that we are seeing of this new season and it looks insane we obviously see what i believe to be the hunter on the left titan on the middle and the warlock on the right here there's some creature behind them in the water and you can see what appears to be the old titan vendor who seems to have a newly acquired taken arm which is very interesting hopefully we'll be learning more about this in the coming weeks as season 21 does launch on may 23rd next they go on to talk about the brand new strand aspects that are coming with season 21 for hunters you get threaded spectre activate your class ability to leave behind a decoy woven from strand matter that draws the attention of nearby combatants after taking significant damage or when combatants approach the decoy detonates dealing damage and releasing fredlings that seek out and attack nearby foes titans get fletcher storm i believe i'm saying that right while sliding activate your charged melee ability to leap into the air knocking nearby targets away and dealing damage while airborne activate your charged melee again to launch a cluster of damaging unraveling projectiles repeatedly activating melee will change additional throws and now warlocks we get the wanderer aspect where tangles you throw attach to enemies and detonate into a suspending burst redling final blows create a tangle these are some very interesting and powerful new aspects that the strand subclasses will be obtaining next season and i cannot wait to play with them they also go over the stasis strand and light based subclass changes that will be going live during season 21 i made a different video going over those changes yesterday so you can go and check that out if you would like also to go over economy changes in season 21 first off we will not be increasing the power bands in destiny 2 in season 21 powerful floor will remain at 1600 soft cap will stay at 1750 powerful cap will be at 1800 and the pinnacle cap will remain at 1810 we will not change over the course of season 21 if players hit pinnacle cap during season 20 they will remain at pinnacle cap in season 21 next here we have clarification on exotic armor focusing and the decryption costs so there are multiple forms of focusing you have standard decryption which allows players to decrypt engrams for free players receive random drops from standard exotic engram loot pools at no additional cost you have exotic focusing tier one Focus an engram to receive a random roll of an exotic from the associated expansion. You have red wall exotic helmets, red wall exotic arms, exotic chests, and exotic legs. You then have forsaken exotic armor, shadow keep exotic armor, beyond light exotic armor, witch queen exotic armor, and then later on we'll get light full exotic armor focusing in a future season. Requires ownership of the associated expansion as well as having previously acquired all pieces within the engram for your class. It will cost one exotic engram, 30,000 glimmer, and one ascendant shard. Exotic focusing tier two, focus specific armor for high cost. Requires ownership of the associated expansion as well as having previously acquired that piece of armor. Cost will be one exotic engram, 60,000 glimmer, three ascendant shards, and an exotic cipher. They are also increasing how many exotic ciphers you can hold from one to five, which is a good change also also since they are not increasing the pinnacle cap in season 21 the need for many pinnacle legendary reward sources has dropped significantly help make playing in our evergreen ritual playlist more worthwhile we are changing the reward from the basic complete activities challenge to a focusable powerful exotic engram which gives players this gives most players three to nine free achievable and deterministic weekly exotic engrams ready for focusing but yes you will be losing some pinnacle drops so reaching the pinnacle cap if you're not already there will be a bit slower for everyone other sources of focusable exotic engrams are random world drops season pass paid and free tracks and vendor reputation tracks next deep site activation crafting and economy changes they will be adding a deep site activation node to craftable weapons in season 21 so to perform a deep site activation on a weapon you'll need a deep site harmonizer currency 
Non-raid weapons will cost one harmonizer, while raid weapons will require 15 spoils in addition to a harmonizer. This deep sight harmonizer currency can be obtained from season pass rank rewards free in the free track and another free in the paid. This will be the sole source of the currency for the initial rollout of the feature. Additionally, only one harmonizer can be stored in the inventory at one time. This currency does not stack. Not all weapon instances will be compatible with deep sight activation. You will be prevented from activating deep sight for a weapon that has already had its pattern unlocked. Weapons that previously had deep sight will be ineligible. You cannot activate deep sight on a weapon instance which had originally been acquired with deep sight, nor can you activate deep sight multiple times on a single weapon instance. Weapon instances purchased from raid vendors will be ineligible. However, weapons purchased from Xur and the gunsmith will support deep sight activation. Crafting costs will also see a change in season 21. Legendary shard cost will be removed from all crafting components. Glimmer and enhancement core costs will remain untouched. Enhancement weapon costs are based on weapon masterwork costs and thus will require legendary shards as we are not yet modifying the weapon masterwork economy in season 21. Oh, next quality of life updates to raid weapons. So for all of the old raids like Last Wish, Deepstone Crypt, Vow of the Disciple, Vault of Glass and King's Fall, they are adding rate boosts to acquiring the exotic for that raid, uh, similar to how new raids and dungeons have it. So for example, Petra's Run will give you a plus three rate boost to acquiring a thousand voices. Deepstone Crypt Triumphs will increase your chance of getting Eyes of Tomorrow. Vow of the Disciple Triumphs will increase your chance of Collective Oblivation dropping. Vault of Glass Triumphs will increase your drop rate of Vex Mythoclast. And Kingsfall Triumphs will increase your drop rate of Touch of Malice. Finest Matter Weave and Rain Makers are being deprecated. All existing instances of Finest Matter Weaves can be dismantled for one Enhancement Core each. And all existing instances of Rain Makers can be dismantled or 3000 glimmer each. In the instance where you would have received a finest matter weave or a rainmaker, you will now receive one enhancement core or 3000 glimmer depending on the item that you would have received. Vanguard bounties are being changed, nothing really interesting there. Good boy protocol, which was the robot dog which was introduced in season 19, will be returning to the tower in season 21, which is great. Important season pass info starting with season 21. If you buy the season passes separately, the cost will be increasing. Season passes now cost 1,000 silver, will be going up to 1,200 silver, and season pass plus 10 rank bundle will be going up another 200 silver, was 2,000, and now is 2,200. The prices for the seasons that include Lightfall Annual Pass Edition and the Lightfall Standard Edition will be staying the same. This change is only for if you buy the seasons separately. Huge trials changes coming up next. You'll get a new ghost, ship, barrow, and shader next season. And then previous shaders that were tied exclusively to adept weapons will be added into the trials loophole in the next couple of seasons. The messenger and the unexpected resurgence, new arc adaptive glaive, are returning to the trials loop pool next season. The adept version of the unexpected resurgence will be available on the weekend of June 9th and the messenger will be available on June 16th and the inquisitor shotgun and whistles when bow are being removed. They talk a lot about trials labs and how that all went and now they're making insane changes to trials in general starting off with the intro quest. The new trials intro quest will be as follows complete your competitive placement matches get 50 kills in comp and raise your power level. Step two is pick up a trolls passage, play a game, win a round and get an elimination and the reward will be an Astral Horizons trolls shotgun. Passage changes, passage of wealth. In season 21, this passage will grant plus 75 rep for every win along with additional bonus for the current major rank in trolls up to 150 total. And the passage of mercy in season 21 will forgive two losses if you have not been flawless yet that week. If you have been flawless that week, it will revert back to one forgiven loss. And also Dominion, which I believe is the capture mode for Trials, is going to be the core mode for Trials next season. They go over the reasons why in detail here. I'm just going to be skipping those because I'm not really bothered. And they're also making Gilded Flawless changes to the title, which you can read here 
if you would like. Also, there is a brand new Trials Emblem for you to acquire. To get this, you need to get a Flight of the Pigeon medal in every win going flawless. So you need to get this Flight of the Pigeon medal seven times for the seven wins are going flawless. And then you can get this new emblem, which looks quite cool. So if you're a Trials player, you can enjoy going for that. And also for the Trials map that was voted, it seems to be Rusted Lands. You can enjoy that as well. That's pretty much it for this week's TWAB. There are some wallpapers here for your desktop and phone for Guardian Games. And we do get a little tease at the bottom here as to what we can expect in the upcoming TWABs. They will share more information on Season of the Deep leading up to its launch on May 23rd. We'll also be diving into more weapon and armor changes, showing off new exotics for next season and asking you to save the date for a new dungeon to throw yourselves into with Abandon. Very exciting stuff there. But that is it for this week's TWAB. Link in the description if you want to read it for yourself. That's all I have for you guys today. So I'll see you all in the next one.